I should have been gone. Okay, that's all I got. What's up everyone, Mike here from The Art of Guitar. I was studying Slash's techniques uh, when I did the Slash video, and I realized that I've been playing Sweet Child of Mine a little bit off as far as the picking goes. Uh, what I do with my left hand is correct. I even play it with a three-fingered version now. Uh, I used to play it with my pinky. A lot of people say things like this don't matter, and I agree for the most part, but it's kind of cool when you make one or two little adjustments how it can affect the tone. So now let's take a look at how I saw Slash do it. I saw it on a video and I I zoomed in and I put it on slow motion. I do all this crazy investigating to really try to get it right. But when you really watch his right hand, here's what's happening. It's so strange. You end up doing only two downstrokes for the entire thing. The rest of it is all upstrokes. And sometimes it doesn't make sense to me why he does it, but it's slash. I'm not going to question him. We get a down for the first stroke. Then an up, another up, and another up. That last up on the G really surprised me. Especially because now you have to go to the first string, so doing an upstroke kind of puts you behind a little bit, because then you have to go like that to compensate. With a downstroke, you're already going that direction, so it's easy. Okay, so down, up, up, up. The high note, we do an upstroke. Then for the A, we do a downstroke, which is what I was doing. There's your second downstroke, so we're done with downstrokes now. Uh, upstroke again for the next high note, F sharp. And then when you go back to the A, this time you do an upstroke. Kind of weird, huh? Okay, so let's do this slow, and I'm just going to say down, up as I play it so you really get a feel for what's going on. All right? Down, up, up, up. Up, down, up, up. Isn't that bizarre? So anyways, that's the way Slash picks it. And uh, good luck if you want to try it that way. But uh, like I said, have a little bit of flexibility. Use it if you want to. If you want to get really specific, go for it. It's kind of fun and a good challenge, actually, to do that. Uh, but then, of course, go your own way eventually if you want to. Because the details do matter, and you'll hear it when you start to play it, and you'll feel it as well. So that's very important. All right, guys, we'll see you at the next lesson. Thanks. Bye.